Greetings students and welcome back to Black Belt Arcade. It is Sensei Shire here today. Now before we get into today's Elden Ring build video, I just want to let you guys know that I have found out a very disturbing revelation. Um, this is going to be hard for me to say guys. Um, I found out that 97.7% of you guys watching my videos are not subscribed. Like dude, what in the world are you guys doing? What in the actual world are you guys doing? No, but seriously, guys, if you guys do enjoy uh, my build videos that I've been making, and you guys just do enjoy the content and the shorts and everything that I put out, uh, please consider subscribing. It would really help me out, and uh, my goal right now is to try to reach 500 subs. So if you guys could help me reach that, that'd be awesome. Thank you, guys, and uh, let's get right into the video, shall we? Greetings, students, and welcome to the next build that I've made. This one is going to be called the Starlight Hashira. Now, as I know as soon as I say Hashira, everybody's going to immediately know what I'm talking about. If you guys get the reference, comment down below. I'd love to know the real ones out here. So the idea of this build is basically to be able to handle anything that comes your way and to be able to handle it in style. So let's go ahead and get into the equipment, shall we? So the equipment for this setup is going to consist of the Moonveil Katana as our main melee weapon. Then we're going to be using the Akarian Regal Scepter for our sorcery casting. We're going to be using the Golden Order Seal for our Golden Vow. For spells, we're going to be using the Glintstone Ice Trad, the Glintstone Nails, the Fleeting Microcosm, Ronnie's Dark Moon, and Golden Vow. Going into Talismans, we're going to be using the Shard of Alexander, the Godfrey Icon, the Magic Scorpion Charm, and the Rolana's Cameo. And then finally, the Flash of Wonders Visit, we're going to be using the Magic Shrouding Track Tier and the Opaline Hard Tier. So let's go ahead and get into the gameplay loop. So the gameplay loop for this build would be as follows. First, you'd be using the Flash of Wonders Physic. Then switch over to Golden Order Seal to use Golden Vow. Then switch back to Carrying Regal Scepter. Hit him with Ronnie's Dark Moon. And then finally, finish off with Glintstone Nails to get an easy stance break. And then once they're on the ground, go crazy in Moonveil. Now against smaller enemies that move around a lot more, I would highly recommend using Glintstone Ice Tread instead of Glintstone Nails because it's cheaper to cast and it's also a lot faster to cast as well. So actually by the time you guys are watching this, From Software have just put out an update as of July 31st that just buffed the damage and tracking of Glintstone Nails so it's going to be even better than it is in the gameplay here. Just wanted to make sure you guys knew that. Let's keep going. So let's go ahead and get into the weaknesses of this build. Now I know normally I do two weaknesses at least and then two strengths, but for this video I'm only going to do one weakness and one strength because I literally could not think of anything else. So the main weakness I found with this setup is definitely the FP toss, right? Because Ronnie's Dark Moon costs a ton of FP, Glintstone Nails costs quite a lot of FP, the Fleeting Microcosm costs quite a lot of FP, uh, pretty much most of what you're doing revolves around a ton of FP usage. However, what I did to counter this was I used an 8-6 uh, Flask of Crimson Tears and Flask of Cerulean Tears split. Uh, that way you got, still got plenty of heals and you got uh, plenty of FP regen too. And then moving on to the strengths, the main strength I found with this setup is definitely its versatility. I mean, you got the Glintstone Nails for super easy stance sprites on large enemies. Uh, you got Glintstone Ice Trad for smaller enemies and Frostbite. You got Moonveil for close range, huge damage, and Moonveil also has bleed buildup. So, I mean, you have so many things working here, and a lot of it is passive. And the sheer power it puts out, too, is definitely really respectable. So now, sit back, relax, and enjoy this super epic battle with the Fire Giant.
But that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the build. And uh, if you guys did, uh, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It would really help out the channel. And as always, make sure you guys comment down below your opinions and critiques of the build. I always love to hear you guys' opinion. And I'm always open to it. But until next time, guys, peace out, stay safe, and God bless.